Hey guys, my name is Ben, and welcome to episode 49, maybe? I'm going to back up on tutorials. Next episode is episode 50. 50, yay. <laughs> it might be the episode now, but after next episode. We'll, we'll never know. Anyway, today we're going to do about kits. It's going to be a fairly lengthy episode, because there's lots of things to explain. Um, so, what we actually want to do first is we want to set up a config. So we want to save our config first, so it exists. It might not have anything in it, but it'll be there. And we want to do setup config, and in the parameters for this, we want to put get config, um, like that, with that on the outside. We then want to create a method like this get config, I, hmm, get config, like that. Okay, cool. So in here, we want to check if a reset file exists. I don't know if I've done this before, but I always use reset files so what we want to do is we want to say if uh, a new file um, that's going to be in the data folder of our plugin which is inside the plugins folder inside the YouTube folder uh, and we want to call this reset uh, dot file just for simplicities um, import that and we want to say if this exists and we should put an exclamation mark at the front check if it doesn't exist uh, first of all, we want to create this file. So this dot create new file. Got to throw it. Uh, try and catch. Or we could we could make this this method throw an IO exception. So in here we'd have to say uh, try. And then down here we'd say oh. Down here we'd say catch uh, the exception uh, e. And then we just do e dot print stack trace like that okay so I'll, I'll format that so it looks nice there we go <clears throat> so that's how you do that and then we want to create little sections in our config for what our kits can be so it can be configurable so what we want to do is we want to say get config or no because we have our config variable so we want to say config uh, dot set um, uh, kits dot um, mage dot items so we're just going to do items in this tutorial uh, I'll show you how to add armor and stuff later but here we want to say if I want 64 torches I can do say 50-64 if I want uh, one diamond pickaxe I can say 278-1 uh, remove these spaces no spaces spaces are bad and we want to say um, I don't know say if I wanted 277 I think it's a spade do I done spade if I wanted four of these I could do it like that so that's how we're going to format our config. Uh, then we also say config dot set uh, kits dot names. So this is how we're going to um, name our kits in game because it's much more difficult to get the name from here. It's easy just to say kits dot names, uh, and we want to say uh, the um, what do we want to say? Um, we want to say that one of them is going to be dot mage like that and here we just want to say uh, I don't know mage or something to that extent um, just so you know we have hmm, actually no what do we want what do we want we want we want we want we want no okay so take off dot mage we want to say kits dot names and we want to change this to say mage and um, we could say archer say archer like that and if we just copy this, uh, paste this here, we could change this to Archer. So we have another class already set up. So we have two names and the Archer. We want to change some things around. So let's just make it like 64, 64, 1, 5, like that. So we have Archer and Mage. You know, you can obviously change these around. And then we have the names of the, the classes. So what we now want to do is we want to actually, if we move this, let's move this, um, move this to the bottom. There we go just so it looks nice. Um, we want to make our, our command so let's do control space uh, on command uh, like this change this to command label just because it looks nicer stick return false at the bottom just because it gets rid of the errors uh, we want to say if um, our command label is equal to I'm going to use kit because I think something's already got the kit so let's make it uh, kit b so if I commanded kit B, uh, we want to say um, if the sender uh, is an instance 
instance of the player like this so if the sender that's sending the command is an instance of the player we want to say player player equals player sender like this without that inside the brackets player sender so it's casting the sender to a player like that <clears throat> we then want to say um, if the the arguments uh, length uh, is zero then we want to send them a list of all the um, of all of the classes they can pick so to do this we have to do something a bit odd uh, so we're gonna make a string array called classes so we're gonna get all the different types of classes uh, and this is going to be in the plugin dot get config um, sorry sorry no, we're not in a, we're not in a listener uh, in the classes we're gonna say uh, get config uh, dot get string so we're gonna get the string uh, kits dot names which we made down here so in there at the moment is, is mage dot archer and we want to split it split it uh, with the comma so what this is actually doing is it's getting this this um this so what this does is it will return this what we want to do is make it into an array so we have mage and archer separate and by doing that we're splitting it here so we're saying mage is string is is um so classes uh, zero at the moment is mage and classes one is archer right now um, so that's if we change the pointer and what we then want to do is we want to say um, you know player um, or you know we want to make a for loop I think yeah we, we want to say for string s uh, classes like that so we're going to loop through the classes uh, array and say s is going to be the one we stop at each time and we want to check uh, if s is it equal to nothing so if s is equal to something if s contains something uh, then we want to say player dot send message uh, we're going to say what should we say we could say make it look nice yeah chat color or white white's already in it so we should want to say open bracket plus chat color dot char color chat color dot aqua plus s plus chat color dot white plus the closing bracket plus chat color dot gray plus a, um, a colon space plus chat color dot dark gray and we just want to say tell them how to use it or what it does so adds you to uh, adds you to the um, ah uh -huh. Add you to the space plus s plus class. There we go. Like that. So that's just gonna in Aqua. It's gonna say the kit name. And it's gonna say add you to the s class, which is gonna be the the class. So that's how we say you know that. Like with the kit b. So if this is only if the args uh, argument length is um zero we want to check if they if their argument uh, length is actually you know something um, so to do this uh, we want to say uh, down here uh, else um, so we don't want to worry if they put like three arguments or whatever we just want to worry if they put like one argument after it uh, so if they put two we should ignore the rest of the arguments we should want to check if the you know the argument after is the one just to make it more user friendly and they're not like oh by accident you put an L at the end of it and now it's not letting me it's just yeah so we're going to make an integer called i so it's equal to zero uh, and then we want to make a for loop so we want to say for string s uh, colon um, oh actually this is going to be difficult uh, colon the the all of the kits so to get all of the kits, we're gonna have to say um, plugin. No, not plugin because we're not in a list. I always put plugin. I use config. We're gonna say get config uh, dot get string um, kits like that. Maybe 
Oh, oh no no no! If you get config. Dot get configuration section. Kits. Kits. Dot uh, get keys false. So basically, what it's doing is it's going to get all of the the mage and archer. It's just going to return mage and archer basically as we loop through that. Um, that's all you really need to know. And whenever we run through this, we should run an increment i by one. And we want to say uh, if the arg zero uh, equals ignore case s. So if the argument, if the first argument equals um, an argument of one of these kits, uh, then what we want to say is we want to do we want to clear the inventory. So player dot clear oh so player player dot get inventory uh, dot clear like that. So we're just clearing the inventory before we add things to it to it <laughs> and we want to make a try and catch statement around this because this can be a little bit dodgy so catch exception e um, and we want to say or oh, we actually want to print the stack trace so e dot print stack trace um, so we want to try and get all of the items that are in their you know thing in their little config thing here so 54 2718 whatever so we're going to say string items uh, equals uh, get config. Uh, oh, caps lock. Oh, string items equals get config. And we want to say uh, dot get string uh, kits dot plus s plus dot items. So what's it doing? It's going to say we're going to get the items in the kits. So we're going to say kits dot the whichever one they picked. So major archer dot items like that and then we want to say um, what do we want to say we want to say we want to get we want to split the um, thing if that makes sense so we want to split the um oh, I had a piece of paper with this on this is where it gets a bit weird um, it's over there oh no we try to do it without the paper so it's gonna we're gonna want to split the items now so I'll say string um, with the Arrays, so it's going to be a string array, and we call this individual items. So indie items, uh, and this is equal to items dot split at the comma. So we now have um, the sixty four and sixty four on its own, and then the one the one on its own, five and four on its own. So what we're going to do now is we want to say for string um, string s one uh, colon indie items like this. Um, and what we want to do is we want to say um, we want to say string array of the item amounts which is going to be equal to s1 dot split so we want to split this at the dash so we now have uh, the the 64 and the 64 on its own so we want to say uh, item stack is equals a new item stack which is going to be uh, material dot get material um, ooh, dot get material uh, from the ID of the item amounts one no sorry zero so that's going to be the material of it where's that like that um, and then we want to say comma item amounts uh, one um, really mm hmm new item stack interesting let's try that Huh. It's material dot wait let me just material dot air one would that work Have they change things things uh dot get id int 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 hmm I'll be right back this is different okay let's let's try something like this so item stack uh, item wait, item stack item equals 
uh, a new item stack which is going to take the integer uh, dot value of item amounts uh, zero and then if we just copy this paste this here, change this to one semicolon at the end mm-hmm Oh, I know what I've done. I imported it from net.minecraft. There we go. Change this to bucket. There we go. Okay, good. Oh, I thought they changed it for a minute there. <laughs> Which one say then? Player uh, dot get inventory uh, dot add item item. Like that. And then we want to do player dot. Oh no, we want to say. Here, just out, just by this catch, uh, player dot update inventory. It may be deprecated, but it's the only way of doing it. So just add suppress warnings, which is up here. Cool. Um, and now I think about it, we don't actually need this i variable. Thought we might do, but we don't. So good. That's good. Okay. So that's how you do that so let's go into our plugin.yml change test to um, what is it? kit b there we go uh, we want to copy this package declaration paste it here do dot kits save close fresh f5 file export next Browse, kits, enter, finish. I'll see you in the game. F. I'm a fool. A big fool. I want to set up the config and I want to save the config. Because else nothing will happen. So yeah, I'll see you in the game. Okay, so you can see in our YouTube file uh, we have this this config here. So we can always edit this. And if we now go to the local host like this ignore the version of craft bucket thing it lies it tells me it's broken it's not actually broken okay so uh, what we want to do now is we want to do slash kit b it's going to say mage and archer because you know they're in this class here if I change this to like majuga diga gag 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 uh, and reloaded and then just slash kit b it would say majuga gag 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 but obviously um I'd have to do slash kit b space mage to actually get into that class. Um, so let's just change this to mage back back to mage because so kit b there we go change back to mage. So now if we do kit b uh, mage like that, nothing will happen. Kit b mage. No. Oh no. Okay, so if args, oh my god, I'm an idiot. I just put s. Okay, s, s. That's the s that I want, not the s that I put. Oh, okay. So if I do slash kit b mage, it's gonna give me sixty four torches, four diamond spades, and a diamond pickaxe. If I now do kit b archer, it's gonna give me sixty four wooden doors. A stone block and four wooden blocks. I can always edit this in here. I can say I want 12 uh, stone blocks. So kit B archer and I'll get 12 stone blocks. And you see how it clears my inventory? So kit B mage it clears my inventory before adding it in and then it updates it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thank god it worked. I've been filming this for quite a little while now. And then I pressed a 10 in the middle of it, so I've got to stick two video files together. Oh, it's going to be horrible. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.